Hi, and welcome to this section of the Physics Tutor where we're going to expand our discussion of collisions. Specifically, we're going to talk about the different types of collisions in physics, work some problems, and we're going to also talk about the special case of a collision when, when it's a little bit more complicated and you have a collision at an angle. So one of the balls comes in at some kind of an angle, okay? Now, the main thing that I want to impress upon you here before we even get to any of the equations is that all of the problems that you deal with in physics at this level when you work in these problems, the momentum the, uh, is going to be conserved in all of these problems. In other words, the, the, the total momentum before and after the collision is going to be the same. And we've talked about that in the previous lesson. I'm going to um, reinforce that here by writing some stuff on the board, but just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. The momentum before, the momentum of all the particles added together before the collision is going to equal the, mo the momentum of all of the particles after the collision. So that's pretty important. Now you're also going to come across some terms that I'm going to define on the board um, that are going to further describe this collision and some of these terms are called an elastic collision and an inelastic collision and a perfectly uh, elastic collision I mean, uh, uh, sorry, the perfectly inelastic collision and things of this nature, okay? And so the big picture here is just think of, of all of those classes in all of them the momentum of the system is always conserved. So just commit that to memory. Hey, momentum is always going to be a constant before and after the collision. So that, that part's pretty easy, okay? Now when we start getting into the, the uh, elasticity, the inelastic or elastic nature of the collision, simple thing to remember is in a perfect system, like with bil billiard balls, perfectly hard, solid balls that hit each other, that don't, they don't kind of flex whenever they hit each other. They're totally hard and they're rigid, okay? When they hit each other, that's called an elastic collision. And that means that in addition to the fact that the momentum is conserved, the kinetic energy is also conserved in the collision, okay? So remember we talked about the conservation of kinetic energy. Um, well, if you add up the kinetic energy of all the particles before the collision, they're going to interact. And then the kinetic energy before and after the collision is going to be the same. Now, the difference is when you get to these special cases called inelastic collisions, okay? And an inelastic collision, it's like a rubber uh, tennis ball or a rubber ball or something like that that flexes. If you have two of these things that hit each other, they're going to flex when they hit each other, right? Some of the energy that they had initially is, is not going to be transferred to the other ball. Some of that energy is going to be absorbed in the deformation. So the bottom line is in, in those cases when you have anything, any kind of a ball that flexes or any time two objects stick together and they don't rigidly bounce off of each other like a billiard ball, it's going to be an inelastic collision and the kinetic energy from the outside point of view is not going to be conserved Okay, in those cases. So big picture, and I'm going to reinforce this here, but big picture, can, the uh, momentum is conserved always and uh, an elastic collision, the kinetic energy is also conserved. In an inelastic collision, the kinetic energy is not conserved. And so keep that in mind as we, as we write some of the stuff on the board. So I'm going to reinforce that here by saying if you have um, what we call an elastic collision, okay, what that means is that the momentum P and the kinetic energy are both conserved. And conserved is just another fancy word that means it's constant before and after the um, collision. Okay, so an example of this would be like billiard balls. which would be like a, a ball that doesn't 